Yo guys, it's IF Tech, and today I'm going to make a quick tutorial on Pixelmator 2. So it's basically um, just a... Okay, there we go. It's basically just a photo editing software for, not not let's not say beginners, but intermediates. Um, it's not really hard to use. As soon as you know all the tools, um, there's about 12 or 13 tools. They're not complicated at all. There's much, much, much less options than Photoshop. However, if you're a Mac and you're a beginner, use it at GFX or editors, just download that application. I'm not sure how much it costs, um, but you get Pixelmator 1 and 2. Uh, I don't know how much it costs, uh, but I think you can download it on the App Store. Yep. So let's show, let's check it out create a new image right here you can choose the size I don't know whatever you want to do just click OK now uh, right here you pop with your tools your, your tools so you have many tools I think you all know what that is that is all the paintbrush the paintbrush is just basically that you draw on it um, so uh, let's say you want to change color so as soon as you click on the paintbrush or any tool you want you get options up there first of all you get your color let's say you want a dark red paint okay and you can just write some stuff let's say hey um, and then what you can do with it if you don't like it just undo it like in every other thing now the other tool is the paint bucket um, it also has options up there let's say uh, you can choose the colors that's a blending if you wanted like to I have no idea like dissolve or I don't know what but I'm just gonna keep it normal I never tried the other ones just keep it normal let's not go complicated uh, you can choose uh, the color you want as well and on the color um, tab you have many ways of choosing your color you can choose them by writing numbers you can mix them you can get tons of millions of things Okay, let's just stay with a purple background, dark purple background. Th this one. Okay, boom, there. Now, once I got that, what I want to do is add a text, right? So I'm just going to add a text right here and write, yo, hey guys, okay, hey guys, no, hey, hey, okay, just hey, simple hey. Now, up there, you also get text box tools, which means that you get all of that. First of all, that is the font. I'm just going to go with that slant. No, I'm just going to go with, let's say, whatever random one. Okay. That one is an old PS3 font. PS3. Oh, God. Wait. What's happening? That one is the old PS3 font. I don't know if you remember, but yeah, let's go and do that then. Um, you get the front up there, you get the size you want right here. I want 100, that is not very big, I mean, it's big enough. Here you get the color of the text that you want. Let's say I want my, in just a white one. Um, here you can make it bold, if you want it fat or, you know, italic or just underlined. If you want it at, at the right, at the left, or at the middle, that's basically it. Um, now going back to our paint uh, paintbrush tool up there you can choose uh, oh my fucking god okay whatever up there you can choose different types of brushes let's just say that that looks like a I don't know like I have no idea what it looks like but let's just cope with it now I want mine in white boom oh Okay, it's sometimes if that doesn't if that happens, the problem it doesn't want to show. Just go to view, show layers, and select the background layer. And now that should work. Okay, that looks like a paintbrush running. I don't know, some weird stuff. Um, now you can get many different styles and stuff. As you can see, that's like the leaf, the maple leaf, or I have no idea what it is. Um, what is that? Okay, that's just some weird piece of crap. Um, that's just a normal paintbrush. You can choose its thickness and its opacity. If you want it tiny, I mean, if you don't want it like 
strong as in um, if you want to see it if you want it to be more like camouflage dissolved like just as a shadow like a ps3 shadow let's just say I want it like the okay you can't actually see anything that's just bad um, let's put more like that Okay, I have no idea how that works, but yeah, if you want, if you don't want it to be like very seen, just play with the opacity. Now the blending, same thing. I have no idea how that works. Mm. If you want a tiny little brush, you know, a uh, big brush, small brush, yeah, that's basically in everything you get that. Now, what do you get? That's to crop. Let's say you don't want, you don't like the, you want that part of the picture, just press crop, and you'll. You'll be, you'll be left with that part of the picture now um, you know it's a cutter I guess yeah you do just to slice parts of the pictures um, that's to select parts and move parts just like this wait oops select it here select your PS3 text and just, just to move it that's the same thing but in a round shape uh, yeah, that's basically it. If you want, you can just like right click and just edit it, and or I don't know what you want to do. Um, what else do you have in that little thing? Oh yes, that pen is kind of important. It's one of the most important thingies. With it, you're able to draw shapes um, and stuff. Let's say that. And once you have your shape done, you can just double click here at that spot right there double click that and with it you can fill it in by different with different colors and just play around with your shape so pixel meter is kind of good to draw or to do kind of little edits you can remove red eyes using that um, just remove the diameter uh, you can just remove the red eyes um, in the bad pictures or you can actually Make a YouTube layout. Make a, I don't know, change your, change uh, your logo. Create a logo. Edit some little stuff that you want to edit. Make a desktop picture. You can do tons of stuff with that. I just showed the really the basics of what I can do, and that is absolutely horrible what I just did right now. And I know that this thing is really bad. I just wanted to show you guys like in the tools and basics. So, yeah, that's basically it. See ya.